Hey kids, welcome to another episode of Let's Draw! Today we're going to be drawing this cute little toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. It's one of my favourite movies. For our artwork today, we're going to be sketching it out using colour pencils. We're also going to be applying our three levels of drawing. Remember, level one will be our actual drawing that we do. Level two, for today, we'll be adding in just a basic colour. And then level three is going a step further and, add, and adding in some extra detail, but also adding some extra colour as well. So, you can choose what level of drawing you want to do. You can stick with level one and have it just plain and simple. You can do level two by adding some simple colour, or we can go the extra step and add in some extra detail and adding in another layer of colour at level three. All right, let's take a closer look at what we're going to need today. Alrighty, for today's artwork, we're going to be sketching and colouring using colour pencils. So you'll definitely need a sharpener. I've also got a thick and thin fine liner. If you don't have these things available, just use whatever you've got at home. Okay, so who's ready to start drawing? I know I am. Say it with me then. One, two, three, let's draw! Starting at our level one, we're going to sketch out our toothless. So using a colour pencil, I start off with the head. So I've got a round oval shape for the head. And then I'm going to add on the ears. So top two ears up here. So sort of long, sort of oval shaped. And then we add on his two little horns on here. And remember, as we sketch, it's okay to have sketch lines and we can sketch back over as we draw. So don't worry if you don't get your lines right the first time. I know I certainly don't. Um, as you're watching the video, remember you can also pause the video as you need to. So if it's moving along too quick for you, um, just pause the video, draw what you need to draw and then unpause. I have got this video slightly quicker um, because it is a little bit more of a detailed drawing. So adding in Toothless's eyes now. So we've sort of got these egg shaped eyes and then his, um, the irises inside the eyes are slightly sort of rectangular with rounded edges. So I'm just lightly sketching everything out and as I draw over I can darken it up by pressing a little bit harder to get the lines where I want them. And we've got some little reflection glare in the eyes here. And some other lines on the outside. Add in the nose next, so just a little line here and then two little lines for the nostrils. And I round out the head, uh, so Toothless has these little ears on the sides here. There's two little lines. And then round them off. And he's got two more little ones down just underneath. We finish off the head. Moving on to the body now, just do two little lines for the neck and a big curved line which is going to be his back rounding off into his leg. And then I've got a curve, another couple of curved lines, and these will be his arm. So more curved lines here for his other arm. So I'm just sketching out the body. And adding in his other leg. And we've got a wing here on his back. 
and big curved line for his tail. So remember as you're drawing today, our level one drawing is just the basic outline and the basic drawing itself as I add on to the tail here. So you get to choose what level of drawing that you do. So our level one drawing is just our basic sort of drawing. So I'm just adding in some more little finer details here, adding on his fingers and things here as well. So if you wanna keep yours at a level one basic drawing, then that's, that's cool. Um, in a moment, I will get out some black markers and add in our fine line but if you want to just keep it as our simple basic pencil work then that's really cool as well so um, remembering you get to add in as much detail or as little detail as you like so I'm now just going over and just sharpening things up a little bit just making it a little bit clearer as to where everything is so adding in a little bit more detail now by pressing a little bit harder and um, adding in those things so we can clearly see all those little details. So adding in little claws and toes and things like that. Add a little bit more detail here to his wing. Now I draw over the arm here, uh, as you can see there, I actually end up changing my mind on that decision and a little later on I will draw back over that line there. So that wing tip that's over the arm, you won't end up seeing that in the finished version. Um, so if you want, you don't have to draw that now. If you do, that's okay because we'll fix it up when we add in our fine liner. So that's sort of the basic outline of Toothless. I'm going in now and adding in a lot more detail um, by adding in some little scales and things. Um, it's up to you whether you choose to add these in or not. You can if you like, um, or as I said before, you can leave it as a basic outline if you want. But what I'm doing now is I'm going through and adding in some little details. Uh, so these are just little scales um, on Toothless. So really helps if you make sure you've got a, a nice sharp pencil as well so you can really get good fine lines um, for those finer details. So just finishing adding in some more little scales here and there and then in a moment I'll move on to our black markers. So I will start off with our thick black marker um, to outline all of our main parts of Toothless. So this is sort of part two of our level one. If you wanted to leave it as your pencil work then that's cool. If you're going to do some outlining then we'll continue on. So using our thick black marker, I'm outlining all of the major lines that we've done so far. I'm not going to do all of the finer lines that I've done for the scales. So I'll use a uh, thin black marker to, to do those. So as I'm doing the outline, you will see I'll leave gaps in between um, where I will come back and finish those smaller details off using a thin fine liner. If you don't have that, of course, you can just use your one marker that you've got to outline the whole thing. Um, remember, you can just use whatever you've got available. So I'm going to outline the rest of Toothless. So by using black marker, it really creates that contrast and will help things to stand out. Uh, also why I like to add in uh, shading as well. So by adding in that black marker on Toothless's eyes, they really um, stand out really really well 
Uh, you can also see that I've fixed up that tail now. So I've drawn that arm so that the tail will disappear. So it looks like the tail is behind his arm. So I'll finish outlining the rest of his body here. Add in that nose. And now here's where I'm using my thin black marker. So using my thin black marker, I'm going to go over all of those smaller, finer details. So finishing off the eyes here, uh, out outlining all of those scales as well. So as I finish off our fine lining in level one, we will transition into level two where we start to add our color. So level two, we're gonna to start to add in our color. I'm starting off with a green around the edges of Toothless's eyes. And then I'm going to get a yellow to fill in the rest. So by using colour pencils, I can blend colours together. So that's sort of why I used that purple pencil to sketch it out to start with. So that way all the colours will blend in and then you won't end up seeing all of those sketch lines. So adding in some yellow will blend in with the green. And I'm using a silver pencil to go over all of those scales. Now what I've done for this artwork is because most of Toothless is black for the body, I've broken it down so I haven't got any level 3 background elements, but what I will do is I will add in a second layer of colour at level 3. So what that means is for our level two, adding our color, is just going to be a basic color. So when I add in our shading for the rest of Toothless's body, I'm just going to do a very basic sort of a color. And then for level three, I'll go over and add in some more. So I'll explain about that a little bit later. We're now up to adding color to Toothless's body. So here's what I was talking about before. So I'm using a black pencil. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in a basic shade. So I'm not pressing down too hard. I'm just shading in nice and lightly over the body. So I'm not worrying too much about trying to get all different tones of black. So I'm doing just a basic shade to start off with. When I get into level three, that's when I'll start to add in some different layers of color. So at level two, we can just finish off 
uh, our drawing by adding in a basic shade of color. Then if you choose to at level three, we can get into more detail. So now we've finished our basic shading, we're going to go into our level three. So this is where we're going to add in a lot more tone and different shades of black. So I'm going to be coloring over certain sections of Toothless's body and making parts of it a lot darker. So I'm pressing a lot harder now. So this is going to create that contrast and add in, add in um, some darker shading in and around the body, which will really help bring our picture um, alive. So pressing down a lot harder now, I'm going over and adding in those darker tones. So just still using the black pencil to add in all of that darker shading. And I'm going over now using a gray. So a gray color pencil. So I don't want these parts of Toothless to be quite as dark as what I've already done. So by shading over using a gray pencil, I can then get a, a darker tone of black, but not as dark as what I want for the shading. That's really the beauty of being able to use color pencils is that you can blend colors in together. So by adding in um, those different colors, I can shade over the top of the other colors and they blend together, but they still come through. So using the gray, I am uh, shading over those other details that I've drawn. So I, ha I am shading over some of those um, scales and things like that that I've drawn earlier. So because I've done that, you will see in a moment, I will get out my fine liners and black markers again, and I'm going to redraw over all of those uh, details and things like that. So adding in some shading to Toothless's eyes, adding in some shading on the ears uh, and his horns. really makes the drawing uh, a little bit more three-dimensional. And you can see now, 
Um, because I shaded over with those color pencils, uh, I just lost some of that detail with my fine liner. So I'm now using my thick fine liner just to outline um, all of those scales again. And I will also add in some other details using my thin fine liner. So just darkening up a little bit more on his head. Remember to have a nice sharp pencil so you can keep those um, details in and around the little scales. And finish off with the fine lining. Well done if you have made it to the end of this completing level three, stellar effort. And that's it, we're done. So how did your toothless turn out? Did you just stick with level one or did you try and make it all the way to level three? It was pretty tricky, but if you did, well done. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you can also drop a comment below if there's something that you would like to see me draw in a future episode. As always, stay creative!